think that the number one piece of advice, I'm always struck by the financial press. I think it doesn't always serve the public really well. What commonly happens when we get into volatile markets like this is articles come out about what you should be doing in your portfolio pr to protect from whatever it is that's going on in the market. Yeah, the inflation or taxes right. or stock market crash or whatever. Right. Yeah. Even the, though we're not in a crash, it's, we're in a falling right. market. Yeah. The problem is that by the time those articles come out, it's too late, right? The move has occurred, or at least a significant portion of that move has occurred. So the idea that after we've had four months of really strong inflation, you're going to now try to position your portfolio to protect against inflation. You've missed that time has passed. So my point is that the best thing to do is to sit down with a professional who can help you and think about your portfolio for the long term what your own goals are, not what you think the market's going to do next year or in five years, but what are your financial goals? What are your life goals? And how do you construct your portfolio to match those? As an example, if you think you're going to be buying a house in five years and there's a portion of your portfolio that you might need to access for a down payment, that's money that probably needs to be invested differently than that's money right. in there for 30 years. You take a lower risk strategy with that money. So when you find your dream house, you're not selling stocks at their lows because you really need <laughs> that money for the down payment. Instead, that money was put into something that's safer, as you just said, less volatile, so that you can take that money out and not feel bad that you've made a bad investment decision in doing so.